welcome to this presentation this is the seventh in the series of short videos each featuring five multiple choice questions covering diverse unrelated aspects of psychiatry each mcq has four options of which one is correct brief information related to the questions will be provided these are the topics that will be covered in this video Question 1 Which of the following is correct regarding fatal familial insomnia? There are four options. Please go through the options and make your selection. If you want, you can pause. The correct answer is C. Fatal familial insomnia is an autosomal dominant disorder. A is incorrect. The thalamus is the main brain region that is affected. B is incorrect because the typical autonomic features in FFI include hypertension and tachycardia. D is incorrect because most patients with FFI exhibit significant weight loss. Fatal familial insomnia is an extremely rare neurodegenerative autosomal dominant disorder due to a mutation of the prion protein gene located on chromosome 20. Neuropathological changes are primarily seen in the thalamus with subsequent involvement of the brainstem and cortex. FFI has a mean age of onset of 50 years. The main symptom is gradually worsening insomnia. Autonomic features include hypertension, tachycardia, sweating, fever, lacrimation, constipation, etc. Psychiatric pre presentations include depression, anxiety, visual hallucinations, personality changes, cognitive impairment, etc. Other features include weight loss, ataxia, diplopia, dysarthria, dysphagia, etc. There is no effective treatment with a mean survival of only about 18 months after onset. Question 2. Which of the following is correct regarding empathy? Please go through the options and make your selection. The correct answer is D. Significantly reduced empathy is a feature of both antisocial personality disorder and narcissistic personality disorder a is incorrect because women consistently display significantly higher empathy compared to men women are much better 
at recognizing and identifying with emotional distress in others expressed via changes in facial expression, voice, body language, etc. B is incorrect because empathy is not unique to humans. It is seen in many mammals and there are well established rodent models of empathy. C is incorrect because oxytocin is the main hormone involved in empathy. So D is the correct answer. Deficits in empathy are also found in schizophrenia and autism. Question 3. Complex post-traumatic stress disorder is a diagnosis that is included in Please go through the options and make your selection. The correct answer is D. So complex post-traumatic stress disorder is a diagnosis that is included in ICD-11 but not in DSM-5. ICD-11 makes a distinction between PTSD and complex PTSD or CPTSD. Both PTSD and CPTSD require exposure to a trauma and functional impairment. For making a diagnosis of PTSD, there are three symptom clusters re-experiencing the trauma, avoidance of reminders of the trauma and a heightened sense of current threat. For complex PTSD, in addition to the above three symptom clusters, the following disturbances in self-organization are also present. Affect dysregulation, negative self concept, and relationship difficulties. Question 4 Which of the following is correct regarding very late onset schizophrenia like psychosis, which has its onset? above the age of 60 years. Please go through the four options and make your selection. The correct answer is C. Partition delusions are more common in VLO SLP compared to earlier onset schizophrenia. A is incorrect because antipsychotics are the mainstay of treatment of VLO SLP. But the dose needed is usually significantly less than the dose that is used to treat younger patients. B is incorrect because negative symptoms are less common. Formal thought disorder is also less common. D is incorrect because VLO SLP is much more common in females. So C is the correct answer. A partition delusion is a belief that another person, object or race can pass through an in impenetrable partition like a wall in order to cause harm to the patient. While partition delusions can occur at any age, 
they seem to be more common in the elderly the final question the insula is primarily concerned with experiencing which of the following basic emotions is it anger disgust fear or happiness the correct answer is b disgust so the insula is primarily concerned with experiencing disgust studies have shown that damage to the anterior insula leads to lack of disgust in response to disgust inducing stimuli like repulsive images or offensive orders while electrical stimulation of the anterior insula evokes behavioral and physiological responses that are typical of disgust a is incorrect because it is the orbitofrontal cortex that is concerned with anger damage to this region leads to lack of self control and pathological anger c is incorrect because the amygdala is concerned with fear and bilateral damage to the amygdala leads to loss of fear d is incorrect because it is the precuneus that is concerned with happiness studies have shown that the volume of the precuneus is positively correlated with the ability to experience happiness so the correct answer is b that brings us to the end of this presentation hope you found the information useful thank you for watching